Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando's Tuck and O'Neill, Mike Tuck, Jerry O'Neill, football season. Uh, wow, we are dealing with the weekend that was in college football. Must we? Must we? I'm a Notre Dame guy, UCF guy. We went 0 12. Notre Dame was that close. Half minute to go. I'm in a dark family room by myself with my cat. With 30 seconds to go when Notre Dame scored to take the lead on the extra point, absolutely no movement, no noise. The purring of the cat sounded like the roaring of a train because I knew there was 30 seconds left. And in that 30 seconds, their season evaporated. Stanford kicking a 45-yard field goal on the game's final play. Irish eliminated. But at the top of the heap, Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma's convincing win at Oklahoma State, Iowa and Michigan State rounding out the top five in the four that get to a Final Four, look as though they're in pretty solid shape, right? <laughs> well, you got to win, man. That's the name of the game. If, if you don't win, then you leave it up to voters, and that's a scary proposition. We know Oklahoma's in. That's Signed, yeah, sealed, and done. delivered. Right. Oklahoma is in the playoff. Bye-bye. Nobody else is assured a spot at this hour. No, but Iowa, Michigan State, the winner goes. Correct. Yeah. That we know. That's two. Right. So Alabama has to win to get in. If they win, they're in. There's no arguing that. Unless Alabama suits up the trombone player, the oboe player, the flute player, and all the other b- members of the band versus Florida, if the football team from Alabama shows up, they win. I, I cannot imagine how Florida beats them. I cannot imagine it. But if you imagine it for a second, then you're just left with a world of wonder and okay. bewilderment. When You can read my blog to try to figure out that mess. And then, obviously, the other spot is Clemson, unless North Carolina wins. And I think North Carolina has a great shot to win. I agree. So then who does that extra spot go to? Does it go to North Carolina? Does it go to two-loss Stanford? If they win the Pac-12, I I have I would put Stanford in as a Pac-12 champion ahead of North Carolina, personally. I have absolutely no problem with North Carolina. Uh, if we've been partying hard during this football season and anointing Clemson as the number one team in America on a neutral site for North Carolina to go in and beat them, I have absolutely no problem. They are the Baylor of the Big 12. I mean, they're going up and down the field, scoring 150 points. Every two minutes, it's touchdown. All you have to do, if you were blind and deaf in the play-by-play voice of North Carolina, every two minutes, just yell, touchdown. I doubt they'd hire said being. They're very worthy. They lost on the first Saturday of the football season to South Carolina. Oh, well, wait a minute. At that point, we thought South Carolina might be pretty good. Okay, and we it was a wrong. close football game. It was a four <laughs> they point loss. North Carolina should have won the game. They Anyone did. Anyone that watched yeah. the game should, knows they should. But they've won not the game. lost since. And a win over top ranked, unbeaten Clemson on a neutral field this week makes them now winners of what would that be? Twelve straight and worthy. So you would put them in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, obviously, I I would have I have them currently seventh in my pecking order. I have it Michigan State at five. I have Stanford at 6, and I have North Carolina at 7. But it is splitting hairs. I'll give you that. And obviously, you know, if Alabama doesn't get upset, it makes it a lot cleaner picture. Of if course. Alabama gets upset, then right. uh, we have a lot to sort out. And if, look, if, if Michigan State uh, were to lose to Iowa... They're eliminated. No what part of that don't you get? No, but okay. So if Alabama loses and Michigan State loses, right... And if North, if Clemson loses, and if Stanford loses, the only way listen seriously start start thinking the about only this. way that Alabama loses to this Florida team this week is if the Lord returns and plays quarterback before calling it all to an end. He plays quarterback. Tebow's out of eligibility. I'm not talking about that Lord. That's small that, L. That's their Lord and Savior. I'm, no, it isn't. Yes, it trust is. me. Yes, trust me. No. Go to Gainesville. <laughs> Go to heaven, okay? There's more pictures of Tebow in houses than there are of Jesus. That may well be. I've not gone door to door, but I've got a feeling one is a wee bit stronger <laughs> than the other. Okay, we digress. 
Uh, Let's again. just say a lot of crazy things can happen, or it could be North very Carolina. simple, and everyone that's favored just wins this weekend. North Carolina is worthy of playing in the Final Four if they knock off top-ranked unbeaten Clemson. That's my opinion. I don't know whether the committee would hold to that. But they, they were. That's the, that's the most interesting thing coming up on Tuesday night is where North Carolina is ranked. You know, they By were. By far, it's the most interesting thing. 14th last year. Because they were week. 14th. Unless they jump up, like I said, they have to get to 6 to have that guarantee, I think. If they don't get to 6, then I don't think they're guaranteed anything. Committee unveils that on Tuesday night. We talk football every day, college and pro, weekdays 3 to 7 on Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando. 